Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, of course, I have already have a few questions from the viewers uh, following my post. So um, we'll answer some of the questions and also uh, talk about the uh, timeline of Windows 11 after that. What's going to happen? So um, the first question, of course, is since it's completed in March, do you think that it could be actually released earlier? Let's just say that Microsoft has a timeline that says second half of the year, 22H2. Second half is anywhere from uh, basically from July to December. So that means anywhere in there, it technically could be possible that it's released. Now, they rarely do a release like that in the summer and often wait. As been in the past, pretty much even with Windows 10, Pretty much always, you know, October, November time frame. I think one of the things they're going to do here is test this very, very well in the dev channel and then in the beta channel. Coming to the second question, of course, is a lot of you are saying, so when is it going to come to the beta channel if it goes to dev channel in, say, March? Uh, probably not before August or September even, as that's when it's going to be moved to beta where it's going to be tested more and then of course the last step before release will be release preview so that comes to the other question when do we know when it's really near the uh, release well look at when it's going to be released to release preview release preview is the indication of in a few weeks maximum this is going to be in for everybody it's going to be the second you know the, the first big update to windows 11 so when it gets to release preview we know we're very close once again pretty much everybody thinks that you know october is pretty much the time frame it could even be november now <clears throat> the other question that comes and this is one of the things i wanted to talk in this video is Okay, after it is officially released and we are in, um, you know, for, for dev channel, first of all, what happens next to, you know, the Windows team? What are they going to do? Well, at the March 4th deadline, um, within a few weeks probably, they're going to push Windows 11 uh, 22H2 to dev channel. That also means that the Windows team is already going to be working on the next update, which is 23H2. We already have the code name, which is Copper. And this is 23H2. It's a thing that we know is going to happen. That is going to be something that's going to immediately start working already, uh, probably in March or April, as they're going to start you know, checking out what they could do to update to the next version next year. So the layers of testing and the layers of building Windows in Microsoft is multiple. Um, as we have dev channel builds, but dev channel builds are not the newest, greatest thing if you look at what's in features and what's the newest that they have. The Windows team itself has a much more advanced Windows version that they work on. And that's why somewhere in March, possibly uh, dev channel will have a, a bump in the build number a really big bump and that's going to bring us to the next version of windows 11 test as now we're just testing little features here and there we expect to have quite a few new things in windows 11 22 h2 because a lot of people are asking me is this going to be like really a lot of new things in there we expect that there will be a lot of new things. We expect that there will be some tweaks that should answer some of the viewer uh, demands, you know, what people would like to see or change in Windows 11. And 23H2 is Windows 11. We, you know, anybody's guess what could show up in 23H2, but it's going to be, you know, uh, of course, the continuation of Windows 11 uh, with that. And last but not least, a lot of you have been asking me, and what about Windows 10? Well, Windows 10 is going to have 22H2, we know that. It's also going to have 23H2, we know that. But that's a whole different thing. We don't have a lot of news right now. And the reason why is because I think 
these updates are very small. And apart from tweaking a little bit and adding a couple of little things here and there, I don't think these versions that we're going to have every year for Windows 10 are going to change much Windows 10 the way it is right now. So uh, we have no news yet. We know they exist. We know that's a thing. We know 22H2 where Windows 10 is a thing, like 23H2 for Windows 10 is a thing. But they're not going to be as big updates as we had in the past. They're going to be par probably cumulative updates. So that's a quick explanation of the future of what Windows 11 is going to be and Windows 10 at the same time, but Windows 11 mostly. As, uh, of course, we're moving on. And that means that uh, that might be, uh, this fall in October, the version that make uh, that might make people want to move to Windows 11 uh, rather than the one we have right now on our computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.